Well, I'm gonna do before I'm gonna do another before I do this video. I want to thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. I just got my 200th subscriber, and I would love to thank you people for subscribing to my videos. Especially if there are people who hate Fred or or hate anything by Jason Freeberg and Aaron Seltzer. I just want to thank you people for subscribing to me because, you know, spread the love. Maybe I'll wind up on TV like I'm... I just want to thank, I want to thank, if any of the other people is watching this, besides my subscribers, tell more people about me. I would thank you. Thank you for subscribing to my videos. God bless you guys. Now, now that stuff's out of the way, I'm going to talk about E3. This year's E3, in my opinion, kicked fucking ass. I am such a big fan of E3. I got 10 years worth of DVDs. From 1999, where GameSpot TV covered it, to 2009, where there was a 23-hour coverage on G4, which is probably the best thing G4's done it's with video games. Now, what I'm going to talk about is all the three major Prince conferences, Sony, Microsoft, and Nintendo. I'm going to cover, cover Microsoft first, because they show some of the games I really want to play, but they're on the PS3 as well. Like... The game, the videos they show, like, Modern Warfare 2 looked fucking amazing. As did, uh, as did Final Fantasy 13, which is going on PS3. I don't care what any of you says, it's coming on PS3, it should stay PS3 exclusive. And they showed some exclusive games, like the Halo 3 ODST, which I'm not interested in, because I think Halo 3, I think Halo's fucking overrated franchise. Now that Alan Wake looks promising as well as uh what else do they show? I know they no they Oh shit. That, that's all I can think. I, I can think all I think is Halo 3 and they show up the demos of third party games like the Beatles Rock Band, which looks cool. The, bit, the, the biggest and most gimmicky thing I saw was probably Project Natal. I mean, it looks cool, but it looks like it's going to be expensive, and it don't look as intuitive as Nintendo Wii, or the, well, it don't look as intuitive as the Nintendo Wii games, or the stuff I've seen from, from Sony, which I'm going to cover, and which I'm going to cover, you know, in this video as well. Overall, I think Project Natal looks interesting, but it could be gimmicky, because, you know, it happened, you know, and who the hell wants to play Burnout like this, and with your foot? It's fucking bullshit. Next is Nintendo. Now, last year, their E3 show was, how should I say it, a fucking epic fail. Now, did they redeem themselves? Well, for the most part, fuck yeah! And that's why. The first game I showed was New Super Mario Bros. Wii, which looks like an enhanced DS game, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. And you know why? Because it, it's four players, baby. Now, it's not online, which some people are probably pissed off about, but it looks pretty damn cool. It looks like it's... It, it, it just looks like it's going to be as close as little bit played going to come to a Wii. But that game looks pretty awesome. I cannot wait. Another Mario game that showed was was new was Super Mario Galaxy 2, which I like Super Mario Galaxy, not as much as Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the first Modern Warfare, but that was a pretty damn sweet game. It was kind of hard though, that's why I didn't like it as much as that other game, because it was a little too hard. <laughs> and this other, they did show some casual games like Wii Sports Resort, which I am actually looking forward to, because that game looks pretty cool. They showed some weird fashion game for girls, which is kind of weird. And they showed a new Golden Sun for RPG fans out there, which which are pretty damn excited and uh, happy for you guys to get to play that series again, even though I never played it myself. But the biggest, biggest, biggest uh, Mega Town Shocker for me was the new Metroid game. Now, I am a big Metroid fan. 
Super Metroid is my favorite game of all time on the Super Nintendo. What really shocked me about the new Metroid game is... Oh my god. It is developed by Team Ninja. It is the same Team Ninja that worked on Ninja Gaiden games. Now, this dude named Tono Itagaki is no longer with him. Man, I'm gonna say this. Who fucking needs him? He's going to be stuck playing 360 games and bitch about Tekken games. Or I'll say Nintendo had a kick-ass year at E3. Now, Sony! Now, this is a big one. Sony had a pretty damn impressive showing at E3 as well. Showing off new games, including Uncharted 2. A video demo of Assassin's Creed 2 looks, looks pretty cool. I wasn't a big fan of the first one because, you know, the combat was... Eh, and the missions got, you know... The premise just seemed kind of stupid where it takes place in the future and past. and uh, It's just fucking convoluted! More convoluted than Metal Gear. But they showed this really cool motion control thing which requires a PlayStation 9 called a... I don't know what the hell it's called, but they call it... I'm just going to call it the one for now. Which showed some pretty impressive text demo stuff. Including the dude that holds a shield and a sword, which looked pretty damn sweet. And... And the uh, cursor makes it look like playing an RTS game. Real-time strategy game, that's what I'm trying to say. The best thing they arguably showed in my opinion was the new God of War video. New, oh god, God of War 3 is going to be fucking amazing. The only thing that sucks about that game is you have to wait till March 2010. Can March come fucking quick enough, goddammit? Overall, it was a kick-ass year at E3, and I am looking forward to next year. Till next time, bitches!